Have a fermata, a fermata, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, a fermata. A fermata in Mozart on a note means that you've got to make not on a pause. When there is on a pause, it's a fermata. But when it's a fermata on a note, it means that you have to make a transition to the next bar. A small uh, cadenza. Mm. rests. They didn't like that nobody plays, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they made a transition to keep the two parts together. Um, I play a little scale. But now forte. And don't use that bow, you know. When Mozart wanted an up bow on the first beat, he put it down. Uh, he, he wrote many bowings, which were this way, that way. And you can always take that, what, he always wrote what he wrote, what he wanted. Yeah? Just stick to Mozart. But not down more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, you use the whole bowl. Forte piano in the orchestra. Ta da 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 Yeah, but stop the ball. Like, you know, Mozart wrote for almost everything from the point of view of a pianist, though he played all this himself. It's okay, <laughs> it's habit, you practice like that. Well, your forte piano, you know, he did not write forte piano for the violin because he himself played 
mm-hmm. in the violin. So he knew that the forte piano, and for the orchestra he put the forte piano. You must play forte piano here. <laughs> And it looks at this. Pong, <laughs> what time that every down beat, every wa- first beat must come down bow. Down bow. But all your down first beats come up bow. The first one is piano, there's a forte piano. Start down bow. Mezzo and forte. 